All right, Monica's final stand. You've successfully shown that I assaulted Natsuki. However, that's meaningless in the long run. Because this world is fake, a video game. You, Hideki, and I are all fiction characters under DJ's control. Our only purpose here is for his entry in some case competition. Why should I just like this world along with everyone in it? This is it, Mr. Wright. If you can't find anything wrong with this testimony, it's over. I'll be sure to do just that. This testimony is her final stand. If I'm right, I should have everything I need to take down her claim. As such, I don't think I need to press anything. Just presenting evidence will do. But I want to press, even if she's right about this world being fictional. The emotions I feel and the people I love are real to me. And I won't let her take them from me. Cross-examination. Come on, it's final stand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not even allowed to. All right, well, let's see. Prove that, yeah, she assaulted Nazi. I don't think there's anything to present there. Meaningless in the long run. The world is fake, a video game. Kiniki and she are all fictional characters under DJ's control. I think this is where we need to present it because if she's under his control, he can stop her from deleting the game. Is basically it. Uh, what would I present there then? Present? Present what? <laughs> present herself to this? You, you're the problem here. Yeah! Game over, Monica. This is the end of your twisted scheme. On the contrary, Mr. Wright, you just presented the wrong evidence. You haven't even seen what I had to show. The fact that the music is still playing is proof that you presented the wrong evidence. <laughs> what music? Is this another one of those game mechanics that you were talking about? Something like that. Just trust me when I say that you're wrong on this one. Have this penalty as a consolation prize. Ah. Oh. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this whole video game thing. <clears throat> Show them that she's the mouse game. We'll stress something else. Our only purpose here is for this entry in this some case competition. Why shouldn't she just delete this world along with everything in it? Because then he couldn't enter the case competition. <laughs> I don't know. Um... <laughs> Do I present the contest rules? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, the music stopped. We know we got it. <laughs> if this really is a video game... This really is an entry for a competition. Then I will use the rules to win this trial. <laughs> Monica, you want me to give you a reason why you can't delete this game? Well, this is the reason why. The contest rules? Exactly. The contest rules state exactly why you can't just delete this game. That won't cut it, Mr. Wright. You need to be more specific. Which contest rules shows why I can't delete the game? Oh, hey, that's right. They shall not kill. That would kill them, everyone. Answer me this, Monica. If you delete the game, what would happen to the characters? Well, obviously they would cease to exist. So in other words, they'd die. Well, yes, what's your point? Please take a look at the third contest rule. They shall not kill. Ah. That's right. If you delete the game, that would kill us all. <laughs> it goes against the rules. Not to mention, you so conveniently confessed to the assault on Natsuki. I'd say that's plenty reason to put you into custody for your crimes. You... this... why? I was supposed to win! I can't keep this up. We got her. We did it. <laughs> Right? You truly are an ace attorney. Believe it or not, I didn't want to hurt Natsuki. I still value her as a treasured friend despite her condition. Now why did you go after her? Because you were the easiest scapegoat out of anyone. What? Your relationship with Natsuki is known to be terrible. I may have done a terrible thing to Natsuki, but you still abused her beforehand. 
I know that I've done a terrible thing by fair framing you and hurting your daughter. I suppose it's only a fitting punishment and that I'm trapped in this reality forever. Well, at least until someone invents a way to transform my consciousness into their reality. But until then, I'll just stay in here. Monica. For what it was, Mr. Wright, it's been fun. I think you have a talk with your client to get to. Here, I'll send you to the lobby. Wait, what are you? December 5th, 1.43 p.m. High School, Mock Trial Courtroom Lobby. Huh? How am I back here? That eh, must have been Monica's powers. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can certainly understand why. Not only have you found out what I have done to Natsuki, but you have found out that you're in a video game. I don't blame you if you hate me or Monica for what happened. Well, Monica may have done a terrible thing, but I can't say I wouldn't do the same if I were in her position. Is that so? Sure, we're only human after all. If we were to find out something like that at first, we or wouldn't we want to know more? Wouldn't we try to take advantage of the system to meet our goals? I can certainly see where you're coming from, Mr. Wright. And I'm sure Monica will have plenty of time to think things over while she's, well, trapped. Now then, as for you... Hideki, tell me, why did you do such terrible things to your own daughter? Five years ago, my wife died in a car crash. I was devastated by the incident. She was my whole world, Mr. Wright. As if that weren't enough, I was tasked with the sole responsibility of taking care of a teenage girl. My job, thankfully, covered everything I needed financially. Uh, but the stress caught up to me. I resorted to alcoholism, and I ended up taking out my stress and anger on Natsuki. Most of the time, it was while I was drunk. But I know that's no excuse for what I did. After I saw her unconscious body this morning, it finally hit me how much of a terrible father I've been. I finally opened my eyes to the damage I was doing, both physically and psychologically. I, I can't even call myself a father at this point. I know how you feel. Huh? I'm a single father to a teenage daughter of my own. Long story short, I took her in after a case involving her biological father. I was disbarred for a time and had to make a living as a piano player at a bar. There were times when I snapped at my daughter because the stress kept building up. But she helped keep me in check in her own special way. She loves me, despite all that's happened. She's a bright ball of happiness and I love her with all my heart. As I'm sure you love Natsuki with all your heart. I do. But how can I dare to face her again after this? Just find something the two of you can relate to. And I think I know what you can start with. <laughs> the manga. Take that! The manga. <laughs> the manga. It's clear your daughter loves manga. Why not get into it with her? Show her how much you care about her and her interests. It's not much, but it's a start to rebuild your relationship with her. Rebuilding is what it said. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I'll take your advice to heart. I should probably go and see how Natsuki is doing in the hospital. I'll send you a check for your services today. Thank you, Hideki. Take care of yourself and your daughter. Happy end. Then he left, leaving me to ponder what Monica had said. If this was all a video game, was my past fake? Was Hideki's past fake? Did none of this even really matter in the uh, in the least? I can't think that way. Not, er, because no matter what others may say, it is. It's real to me. My feelings are real. The love for the people I care about is real. And nobody can take that away from me. Video game or not. Because I am Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney! Wow, now that I think about it, that just sounds corny. Turn about reality! The end! Credits? Oh, written by DJJ6800. DJ. Made for the Looking Back competition hosted by Super Legend uh, and Rise from the Ashes. Uh, Phoenix sprites made by Sligners. Monica sprites and DDLC face shots made by Dan Salvato, taken from DDLC. Hideki sprites made by the Soviet Spartan. 
Monica, objection voice by Arena chan Mock trial courtroom made by Superia Superage Superage Super Rage. Custom music taken from DLC. Yeah. Special thanks to the AAO team. And Super Legenda and Rise from the Ashes. Dan Salvato. And you. And me. Well, isn't that nice? But there's still one more thing I want to do in this before we're all done with it. Oh, hey, there's a little bit more. And who are me? Maybe, um, is this Natsuki, perhaps? And who are me? C can you hear me? Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> Hi, player. It's me. Listen, you're probably mad at me for what I did, but don't worry. I won't do anything like that again. Well, not until someone else decides to play this game, that is. And for what it's worth, I'll speak for DJ and say that he had a lot of fun with this case. And whether it wins or loses the call, I'll be happy either way. Please come back and visit me soon. Now, where did I put the code for the ending? God damn it. Well, anyway, from what I read on the post on RDLC mods for this, it actually came in second in the competition, so that's pretty okay. No, that's the recrawl code. No, that's the psych locks code. Psyche locks, rather. Ah, oh, here it is. Bye bye. The end. We press the button. I can't press the button. Well, I guess that's it. We've done it. We, we solved the thing. The case is resolved, but I want to see what happens when we fail. So I'm going to reset this page. Refresh the page. Hopefully that doesn't screw anything up on the recording end. It doesn't look like it has. Let's start. We'll just mash on through. We'll just get to the point where we can fail and we'll fail. And see what happens. Wait, wait, wait. No, we know, Monica. We know. Oh, hey, I can highlight text. I wonder if I can use that to see the stuff she was, like, saying before. Like, when it was, like, all blacked out, you know? Let's try to get there. I realize, well, I can't rush this any more than it, it's just, this is the speed it goes, dear viewer. I'm sorry. I can't make it go any faster. Uh, eh. I'm looking forward to eating chips after this. I always eat chips while I'm chopping up my videos. And then I get tired and I put on YouTube instead of going to work on game design like I'm supposed to, and then I wonder why it's taken me four years to not finish Take Two yet. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. I gotta, gotta move on. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Go, 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 go. We need to get to the point where we can fail. And then we're gonna fail. I'm gonna throw my attorney's badge at Monica until we fail. I guess I could also just check the instant text box over here. You can't see it because it's off panel. But it sure helps. Look at it go. Look how fast it goes now. She did mumble something under her breath, but I already passed it. There's a thing, there's a thing, there's a thing, there's a thing, there's a thing. Let me question the testimony. Witness testimony. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna present everything. But, 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 but. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right, let's present. No, 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 you need to try at least. Let's present the bottle. Since when has the first testimony ever contained a contradiction? Um, almost never. What makes you think it'll, it'll change this time around? The power of determination? This isn't the Undertale crossover. That's not a thing here. Undertale crossover? Oh, she said something. How is she even giving out penalties? All right, well, we're not done presenting. Is it gonna be the same thing, though? She said, this doesn't make sense or anything. Okay, yeah, I know. I won't skip this thing this time. Under the crossing. Try and find something better next time, Mr. Wright. Well, I'm trying my best. Present. Present, present you. Oh, we're gonna get it. Mm hmm. Well, well, what about, what about, I'm going to present myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We've got it now. 
All right, it, it, it is time to have time to give up. <laughs> I'm turning in my badge. All right, hold on. Let me turn off the instant type thing so we can see what it says when we fail. Huh? Uh oh. How is she even giving out penalties? Huh? But it's 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 out of it's out of what? But but how do we fail at this point? I need to fail! I need to fail! You can't stop me from failing! Hey! It said the end for a second there, but now I'm going quite negative on my penalties? I just <laughs> Well that's curious. Alright, well hold on. Let's just I wanna see if there's like a fail case outside of that, but it's just continuing on like nothing happened. <laughs> we had to get through this by pressing everything, right? So let's just press everything. And we'll see if we can fail at another stage that isn't the first stage. It's, it's all about the science now. We'll present the manga. It's the new evidence we needed. Pressing. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So much information. Now can we fail? I would like to fail. I would like to fail. Witness testimony. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. And so forth. All right. Oh yes, the wall. <laughs> Cross examine. Present the manga. We have to do it. Let me lose. Major problem. Problem. Is the it just keeps going. You can't fail. You can't actually fail. All right. Well, I'm going to assume that there's just no possible way of failing. That's it. Well, uh, that will do it for this one. Quite an interesting bit of Doki Doki, but I quite enjoyed it, and uh, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll write a review of this too. I mean, might as well. But yeah, that will do it for now. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with more Doki Doki. I'll see you then. Bye bye.